Hey, Mr. Boo Boo, you've been inside for what? Four or five days? Five days? Ooh. Come on, Boo Boo. Nice. Daddy was in New York, huh? Yeah. I was visiting Claudia. Mm hmm. You happy to be back outside, Mr. Boo Boo? You have a lot of catching up to do, I bet, huh? It's a nice day. It's almost 70 degrees. Isn't that nice, little Boo Boo? Yeah. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I don't think we'll find any snow back here today. Got the fire pit all set up. Looks like my dad and mom put some trash there. Hey. You miss all your little trees and twigs? Yeah? I bet you do. You gonna come back now? I'm sure he will. <laughs> He doesn't seem so stressed out now. He just wanted to go outside. Yeah, yeah. He just wanted to check up on all his little kitty checkpoints, huh? Yeah. Can't believe his old flowers are still in existence. Huh. Yeah. Goodness, it's so nice out. It basically feels like summer. I can almost smell the morels. Morels come in May in Michigan, typically. Yeah. Ooh, you scratching the post, mister? Your little kitty scratching post? Yes. That hasn't been scratched in a while, huh? He's gonna scratch it all the way to the dirt, I bet. Yeah. Oh. Do you sense a presence? Are there deer? I heard something shuffling out there. Yeah, you miss your daddy, mister? I don't know if he missed me more than he missed outside, but uh, yeah. Oh, look at the pine cone. Well, he's got to have another go at the stump. Whoa. What's the little baby doing? My parents checked and sent him on a couple times while I was gone. And he didn't have such a great time. Well, he did when they were here. Oh, bathroom time. But he pulled up some carpet. He had a few messes in the house. Yeah, happens to the best of us, buddy. And he actually pulled Christmas lights off of some shelves, which is pretty interesting. He's finally the ideal bathroom spot. I can't blame him though. He's a the type of cat you can't leave alone for very long at all. And he definitely wants it to be known that he's having not a great time. Is that a squirrel? I think that's a black squirrel, actually. I've never seen a black squirrel on this property. Squirrels in general are pretty hard to find out here. Out here we have a lot of people call them gray squirrels. They're more of a brown color. In New York, I actually saw squirrels that looked gray to me, which was interesting. Out here, they're typically brown, but you do get some black squirrels as well. You almost done with the bathroom, little boo boo? Take your time. Got the sun over there. Oh, it's so nice out. My goodness. Oh, he's got to bury it now. Yeah. Yeah. So on the way to New York, I had to fly from where I live in Michigan to Philly, Philadelphia. And so I got there and within minutes, basically the time I was supposed to board the connecting flight to New York from Philadelphia, yes, the airplane was, uh, that flight was not delayed. They canceled it. Can you believe it, buddy? Just a neighbor working on something over there. Yeah, they canceled it, so I was screwed, basically. It was late at night. They stopped flying to the particular airport I needed to go to at that time, so I was absolutely screwed. So if I had waited for the airline to make right, I would have been there. I would have had to have been at the airport in that city for over a day, which would have really made a, it would have really messed the trip up. I was only had a handful of days there. Humble, yeah, it wouldn't have messed things up. What's that on you? Sure, not a tick. No, you know he gets treated for. He just got a couple birds. There was probably like 30 people that were going to be on that plane, maybe less. Everyone was super, super pissed. There was this guy that was sitting, probably you know, a couple chairs away, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is such garbage," you know. And we were all upset, obviously, and people were kind of freaking out at the uh, the staff there. And this guy mentioned, he's like, "Ah, oh, might as well just lift her Uber over there," and it's about a three-hour drive. Hey, buddy. Cinema took a huge deuce outside while I was recording the part of this video, so I gotta re-record it so you're not blessed with the presence of some kitty logs while I'm talking. But anyway, I was just explaining that everyone was upset at the terminal and I overheard a guy 
mentioned that he might just get into the Lyft or an Uber. And I said, if you do that, I'd be happy to throw in some cash to do that, you know, kind of like sharing a cab, except a much longer cab ride. It's about a three hour trip. And there's actually a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers there that ask, hey, do you want to ride? And of course they did that as we're walking out of the place. And the guy said, yeah, if you want to drive three or four hours or however long it was. And the guy's like, yeah, sure. So I ended up riding along with the guy and he wouldn't accept any money offered to pay at least half, you know. And uh, he wouldn't take any money, which is super nice. And ended up just giving the driver a really good tip, you know. But that was pretty cool. Got the drive through a couple states, yeah. And we ended up arriving only about an hour later than the flight was scheduled for. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, it was a nice gesture, huh, buddy? Yeah. We'll have to pay it forward, huh? Maybe with some treats? <laughs> Ooh, pooping his head around. He's gonna do his lay down. There we go. What a good baby. Yeah, he's a little wet because outside, as you can see, it's a little wet out there, but he loves going outside anyway. Don't you, buddy? Let's get you a little raincoat. Yeah, a little umbrella. A little cinnamon umbrella. Uh huh. Yeah, so that person saved me a lot of time and money. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Brandon. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, Cinnabon, I'm sure, appreciates it too, huh, buddy? Yeah. That's nice when people do that. It's just a reminder to. You know, it's okay to be kind to strangers. He happens to be from the Midwest, too. Much like myself, which is cool. People from the Midwest tend to be friendly. Not that people that are not from the Midwest aren't, but some people, they get a-holes in the Midwest, too. Wow, it's a good day. Wanted to give a shout out to that guy's company too, at least I can do for helping me out. So he's part of a company called NutriSure, which box sells supplements and ingredients to make supplements to various companies. So I don't know how many of you are in that market in the field of supplements, but if you are, check his website out. I put it in the description. Yeah. Maybe we should get Cinnabon some Macha. Hmm? Somebody walking around in the woods over there. Interesting. Sounds like a bigger thing than a deer. It's probably, it's probably a person. You got some birds in your face, buddy. When you're in a car with some people for three hours, you tend to talk quite a bit, at least if you're social. And I'm fairly social, so we talked about Cinnabon and, and how cool it was with the channel and how people oftentimes will live vicariously through, through what Cinnabon does and what I do with them too. Whether somebody wants a cat, can't have one for whatever reason, or maybe wants one isn't really sure about them, they can watch a lot of our videos to kind of get an idea of what some cats are like. Yeah. Yeah, you're aware of some sounds back there too, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, we drove through... Goodness, it was... It didn't seem to take long. It was a little over three hours, but it was from Philly through New Jersey and New York. I'm glad I wasn't driving. <laughs> a little intense. Not so much as a passenger, the driver knew what he was doing, obviously. Oh, I heard more sounds. Spring is upon us, my friend. As of the filming of this, it's mid-March right now. You miss being back here, little boo-boo? Yeah? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think he picked that pile. <laughs> you never know if he's going to pick this pile or this one. You like this one, don't you, little boo-boo face? You like this pile, don't you? Is this your favorite one? What a beautiful day for a walk. He's probably not going to come inside for a while, I bet. He's going to be enjoying his time out here. Yeah, enjoying your time outside? What's that on here? Yeah, Claudia took me to a very nice arboretum in New York. Yes, I bet you would have loved it, Cinnabon. You would have hated the travel, though, I'm sure. But it was really cool. All kinds of trees, and most of the trees were labeled. Yes. Claudia really knows the trees, so the ones that weren't labeled, she could tell me what they were. Yeah. Oh. We'll see. Wanna check out your stump, buddy? Wanna look at your stump over here? Wanna go check out your stump? 
I just walked by it. He'll hop up right on there. Watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he loves this dump bunch of little boo boo. But you've been waiting for days to go back in this dump, huh? You happy your daddy's back? You probably thought I abandoned him, huh? I didn't, obviously. I will never do that. No, only death in prison will stop your daddy. Yeah. Oh, he's going to lick my arm. He does that thing where he'll lick my arm. Oh, if I'm gone for more than a few days, I'll just lick my arm. I think it might be a sign of stress or maybe just he just really misses the daddy. But he looks happy as can be right now. Oh, buddy, you look like a happy cat. You happy your daddy's back? Uh-huh. You got something on your chin, little boo-boo. You got like a little burr or something. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna lick my arm. I'm just gonna lick it all day, probably. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't see any deer, mister. No. Still see remnants of my chainsaw action. Whoa. <laughs> come here, little boo boo. Come on, come on. Cinnabon is in his happiest place when he's outside. For the most part. <laughs> Unless it's really cold. Daddy's still gonna unpack, buddy. I'll probably do the minimum tonight. And going to work tomorrow. I should have probably taken the day off, but I'm running out of time to take off. Yeah. Don't stray too far, my friend. No. No. Gotta be back in time for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. You like that little chunk right there? Mm-hmm. Oh. There. Oh, there's a trail. We kind of went off the trail a little bit, huh? You're like a, our own little Ford Explorer. Except you have four-wheel drive and I don't. I'm just a two-wheel drive creature. Whoa. One of his favorite sticks. Oh. I always love spooping his cheek against those. Uh-huh. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You probably want some wet food, I bet. Whoa. It's going to be a little muddy over here, I think, buddy. Got to be careful. Yeah, my shoe's got some mud in it. I'll take them off before I go inside so I don't track in mud. No. Your feet tend to stay pretty clean though, huh, buddy? Yeah. Ooh, an airplane somewhere. A little one. That is on small airplanes too. They were little jets. I think the smallest jets that the airlines had, actually. Yeah. Cinnamon's catching up in all his pet business. Beep. What was that? He knows what that is. Who's honking at you, little boo-boo? Somebody honking at you? He's a street smart kitty, I'm sure. Street smart and wood smart. Yes, I'm sure. My goodness, what a beautiful day outside home, buddy. I haven't got my Nikes that match yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Careful, Mr. Boo-Boo. Careful, don't want to fall down. Oh, it's St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone, by the way. I'm sure by the time I post this, it's going to be a long, long after. It's ironic. My buddy from Ireland actually sent me a gift in the mail and it ended up arriving on St. Patrick's Day, which is hilarious. Isn't that funny? <laughs> what are the odds of that? Especially with international mail. This stuff's so unreliable. Uh, from a timing standpoint. You ready to head back inside, buddy? Daddy's got some work to do, mister. Mm-hmm. No, for not seeing me for a while, he's fairly normal, at least outside, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. It's nice to get back in the old swing of things, huh? Mm-hmm. Looks like he wants to go back inside with his daddy. Okay.
You ready to go back inside already, Mr. Boo Boo? Okay. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, I think somebody misses Daddy. Well, I miss my little baby boy, too. Yeah. Glad you're all right, mister. Oh, he's got to check in his old house. Yes.